What's up guys, Justin here from thesketchupessentials.com, back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So today we're going to talk about changing our field of view with our camera so that you can see more. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So in a SketchUp model, uh, there's really two different kinds of ways of looking at a model. You either look at something from the outside, like a building, or something inside like a space and uh, there's two different ways that you can look at this but if you don't know how to change the field of view of your camera it can get a little bit tricky so um, a lot of the time what will happen is you'll move your camera into a space kind of like this space that I downloaded from the 3d warehouse and you just won't be able to get a great view of everything um, with the default field of view Basically what field of view is, is it's the amount of space that you your camera picks up. So like for example, if you ever use like a GoPro camera or something like that, those are kind of ultra wide angle or at least super wide angle. And um, so they pick up more stuff from that standpoint. But the trade off to that is sometimes you get a little bit of a fisheye effect. So it kind of rounds everything out and everything like that. Like for example, if you're in this space and uh, you want to see more of this space in here, um, right now what you have to do is you have to use the, uh, the look around tool to look around to see the rest of the space and stuff like that. And that's fine, but what you, what you can do instead is you can change that field of view so you can see more. So in order to change the field of view, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the zoom tool and you can find that um, in the getting started toolbar under zoom. If you um, activate the zoom tool and then you look at this, what you might notice is at the bottom of the page, what it says is it says shift to change field of view. Basically what that means is if you hold shift and then you click and drag, it's going to change your field of view so that your camera picks up more. So you can see how what that did is that made my camera so that it picks up more of this space. And you can see that there's a little bit of a trade-off in there because you also kind of get a little bit of distortion sometimes. So you, you kind of have to walk the line between um, getting as much as you possibly can and distorting the way that your model looks and um, not having enough space to actually see which or not having enough field of view to see what everything looks like so but you can definitely adjust this in order to do that and not only um, can you click and drag and hold shift you can also type in numbers and hit the enter key like for example if I was to type in 120 um, which obviously we don't really want but that'll take this to the maximum field of view and you can see how that created a whole lot of distortion maybe I don't like that so maybe I type in something like 90 or 80 or even 60 or 50 but you can kind of cycle through those different fields of view if you don't want to click and drag so there's a lot of different options in there for you to do that and then the other thing that I want to point out um, and we're gonna to move to another model real quick is you can also store field of view in a scene so like for example I've got this scene in here that um, it's in this kitchen model and you can tell I can't really see very much, right? I can only see this uh, oven, or if I drag my mouse, I can see the refrigerator. So what I want to do is I want to change my field of view. And usually I find myself ch changing this to about 70 degrees for an interior model, but you can kind of find what works for you. Well, what you can do is you can add a scene with that field of view that'll actually store that. So instead of having to go back and type in 70 degrees or move this back and forth, um, depending on how, uh, depending on if you're at the exterior or the interior model, you can just create a scene that stores that. So now if I've got this scene five and then I click over to the scene seven, you can see how it smoothly transitions to that field of view. And what that means is that you can create animations where it transitions smoothly from exterior to interior. Like I've got this scene one right here and you can see my field of view is 35 degrees and you don't necessarily need a super wide view for the exterior of a building. But then I've got this scene three where I've changed the field of view and you can watch what this is going to do is as a part of the animation right there it adjusted to this 72 degrees and so what you can do is just include that field of view change in your animation just like this you can see how all of these have that uh, higher field of view um, so you can smoothly transition between those different things so that's where I'm going to wrap up today's video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Is this something you're using that you knew was in there? Uh, I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. Um, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you really like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Um, that just helps me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. And every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. In any case, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.